Andrew out in the field, we discussed the Ramsey box, the proper name is the Ramsey pressure set, and I'll talk you through how it works for those of you who are not familiar with it. How it works is uh, you have an air chamber in one half of the, of the pressure set and liquid comes in, uh, uh, goes through this gauze and um, uh, up against the rubber diaphragm here and out. And the flow through here is governed by the pressure in the system. It's in the return. And so if you want your sprayer to work at two bars, you have two bar pressure in the air chamber. And irrespective of how many sections you've got working, it will compensate. This diaphragm will shift to alter the flow and it will, the, all the nozzles that are working will spray at that two bar pressure. Andrew will kindly show us how he services a, uh, a Ramsey box. Right, so having removed the Ramsey box from the sprayer, um, disconnecting your pipes and your mounting bolts, uh, get it on the bench. Uh, as you can initially see, there's a, a ring of bolts all the way around the outside. Um, they've all got to come apart. Uh, a good point, if you've got uh, chambers and certain valves that want to be in a certain direction, put a mark on one uh, and match it to the other place. Uh, so you can put it back in the right order at the end. Uh, but we'll begin by uh, removing the bolts around the, uh, the ring set. As you can see, we took a few of the bolts out earlier um, to make it a bit easier. So uh, having removed the, the valve, the rubber wasn't on there, so it was uh, attached to the bottom of there. Just peel them away. Uh, likewise on the other valve, So then uh, with all the bolts out, the ring of bolts, um, you've got two top bits to it, which just needs a little bit of rocking apart. Uh, first bit off, solid piece. Uh, the bolts for the, uh, the valves are captive inside it. And then, as you can see coming apart in this, you can see the wear and fatigue in an old Ramsey. Check for any problems um, and possibly easy at this stage to put the new one on then you know it's in the right place ready. The old one out the way. Turn that back over because you know that's the direction it went, came off. As you can see the coloured is facing upwards, so make sure you put that back in the right position. And then the, the thicker of the other seal, uh, which is the same other side, remove that. Place your new one back on, check it's all good and round, make sure it's a bit of a clean up. Keep your coloured side up, line up roughly, and uh, Refit in the reverse order. So uh, having taken the bolts out, you've got the, the plastic sort of cap on the top of it. So your first few are always going to be the hardest ones to line up. Once you get a few in place, the job will become easier to do. First one in there. Done them all finger tight to begin with, because what we're basically doing is squeezing rubber. Um, I'm led to believe there is no official torque setting, it's hand tight. Work around them, just gently to begin with, get them all to a similar sort of feel. Right, and I think we're all good to go on that part. The final bit is to put the two uh, 
gaskets for the valves on and replace the valves back in the right order. Uh, with the mark, we know that that one was on there like that and we know that one was on that one there, facing there. Andrew, how often do you change the, uh, the gaskets on, and our frames on the Ramsey valve? We will have and always done is replace those on an annual basis. Uh, during our winter overall, we always change the Ramsey. It's a simple, effective thing to do. And how long would you say it takes to do that on your bait then, please? Uh, I suppose it takes as long to get it on and off the machine as it does to actually do the changing. So, um, as you've just seen, yeah, a little bit fiddly at times, but I don't know, half an hour in total and you've knocked, knocked the job into the corner. Innertrek Active is a serial fungicide for the control of septoria and rusts. For application of any product containing Innertrek Active, Corteva has issued the following best practice guidance. The maximum concentration should not exceed 2 litres of product in 285 litres of water per hectare. A maximum spray concentration of 0.7%. Innertrek spray solutions should not be left in the spray tank overnight. At the end of each day's spraying, operators should rinse through the sprayer tank, pump and lines. Innertrek should not be used in sprayers equipped with pulse width modulation technology. Corteva recommends replacing pump diaphragms annually, ideally with NBR or Blue Flex parts. Abide by the pump manufacturer's service recommendations. For anti-drip diaphragms, EPDM parts are recommended, or operators can modify air shutoff anti-drip valves to use Teflon replacements. If neither of these options are possible, Corteva recommends replacing all existing pneumatic anti-drip diaphragms or pistons with new parts before spraying products containing Innertrek. It's important to check these after use too. If your sprayer has a Ramsey box, you should replace the diaphragm seal during winter maintenance. For more information, go to corteva.co.uk slash Innertrek advice.